Have you ever paused while browsing Glossier's website and thought, how do they make shopping for skincare and beauty products feel so personal and inviting? Glossier's minimalist design and thoughtful product presentation make shopping a luxurious experience. Today, we're gonna to show you how to replicate Glossier's iconic product pages and create a seamless, inviting shopping experience for your own online store. By the end of this video, you'll know how to, one, build your product page from scratch, Two, configure elements like a pro. Three, check responsiveness across devices. Four, preview and publish your page. Five, template or pre-made section to build this product page. The first thing you need is your brand colors. Here, Glossier uses a primary color palette of white and black. Next, define your font styles. Here, I chose Monterey. Note that PageFly only supports Google Fonts, but if you want to use other fonts, you can upload custom fonts by clicking here. Let's start impressing your customers with a flawless online experience. Here we are in the PageFly editor. First thing you need to do is to assign at least a product for this product page. Then drag a three block flex layout into the editor. Next, pull in image elements, product media, and product details, which can be found under the Shopify element section. Now let's assign the Glossier U product to both product media and product details here. In PageFly, you can assign the product to all products by choosing the auto option for product source or just assign one specific product by selecting custom. Now delete the product media in the first flex block. Let's start styling the product details. I'll set the font style and font size for smaller text elements within the product details. The font style here will be Montserrat and I'll set the product title size to 32 pixel. For smaller elements like the descriptions, set the font size to 16 pixel. Next, with the product variant, choose Don't Combine Options and use the Swatches option. Here you can click Manage Swatches to set them up as labels like I'm doing here. Uncheck the show option name, and lastly, set the option values layout to horizontal. Adjust the spacing of the option values to zero pixel. Let's start styling the variant here. There are two states, normal and active deselected state. I will adjust each state by choosing from the dropdown here. To show the product description in a compact layout, select the compact description display option. By default, 30 characters will be shown, but I will leave this as is for now. Finally, select show more link. You can customize the more text or less text option here as well. Now, move the elements to better fit the layout. For the add to cart button, I'll adjust the background color in the styling tab and add a border. to add an image. First click on the image, then navigate to the general tab and select your desired image. Now, when it comes to the product image, I'll display the media list like this. Next, Glossier has added a video element here to enhance the product details. To build this section, I'll drag a two flex block layout into the editor placing a video element in one block and an icon, heading, and paragraph in the other. Just like with the image element, click on the video element to select the video you want to use. Let's adjust the font color and size for the icon elements. While adjusting styles, you can copy the styles from the elements you adjusted earlier and paste them to save time.
To increase the video's width, click on the flex block on the right. Then go to the styling tab, select custom for the width, and set it to 250 pixels. The next section is about the ingredients used in the Glossier perfume. First, I will add a heading. Here, I'll also drag a two flex block layout into the editor and use an accordion element for the block on the right side of the screen. Now, I will add content and adjust the styling for these elements. For the full ingredients list label, use a heading element, adjust styling for it, then in the general tab, select the click action as open pop-up. Here I've already prepared the pop-up page, so I'll just select it here. The next section has an image on the right and text on the left. I'll duplicate the section with the video background I just created and move it down to this new section to maintain the same style. Next, I'll replace the video element with an image element and adjust the content of the left block accordingly. Similar to the video with text section above, in this section, I will click on the flex section on the right select custom for the width and set it to 350 pixels. You may also like section is important for upselling. You can add this section by using a product list element. For the product source, you can choose all products, custom collection, or related products depending on your upsell strategy. Here I'll select custom collection Now that we've created the product page inspired by Glossier, don't forget to check it on mobile devices to ensure responsiveness. Since you designed for all devices, most of the styles will be preserved when switching to mobile. However, some styles may need to be adjusted for smaller screens. To reverse the order of the two flex blocks on mobile, click on the flex section and select order reverse. Note that this won't affect the layout on other devices. We've already assigned the product to the page above, so now let's go to the theme settings to hide the default Shopify section. Please note that if you're using Shopify Store 2.0, you'll need to go to Online Store Customize Theme to hide the default section if you don't want it to show. Alternatively, you can choose to keep it depending on your specific needs. In this case, I will hide it. Time to save and publish your page. Take a final look in live view to make sure everything is perfect. However, with Pagefly, you can use templates or pre-made sections. We've prepared to build a product page faster. For example, I'll choose the template Digisnap because its tone and layout are quite similar to the sample page from Glossier. Next, all you need to do is adjust and add elements to make it fit your needs. And there you have it. You've learned how to design a product page that captures the essence of Glossier, all with Pagefly. Get ready with us and start creating your Glossier-inspired product page with Pagefly now. In the next video, we'll take things up a notch and show you how to build a luxury landing page that truly speaks to your brand's high-end identity. Don't miss it. See you soon.